Day Mafia. Yeah, it's your girl Zoe. It's your girl Day. And, and we're, we're back, back with another, another video. video. Right, so in today's video, we're going to be speaking on life with COVID-19. Mm, some might know, some may know that um that we end up contracting the virus actually from our job. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I would say this. When COVID first, you know, became trending and talked about, mm -hmm. we took it as a joke. Well, I don't know if you did, but I took it as a joke. I mean, I'll say coronavirus. No. Coronavirus! All oh, that, yeah, but... I, I felt like black people couldn't get it. Yeah, that's like what I, I heard. Yeah, and, and I just, I was like, we gonna be straight. We gonna be good. But as time was going and this stuff was getting serious, serious. It started to know, you know, affect, affect how I was feeling because, you know, of course we stay in Texas, in Texas, California, Florida, New York, and Georgia. We end up, we was working at a job that really wasn't doing nothing yeah. about it. Like really no protocols, no, no nothing. Somebody at this station, this station empty. Somebody at this station, mm -hmm. but. Y'all not requiring masks. I was just going to say their name. Rent the runway. RTR. Rent the runway. runway. Yeah, I, I would say them. Like, they, they didn't make no type of protocol besides putting hand sanitizers everywhere. Making and sure you're washing your hands. There's something you Stuff that we do every do. day, you know. And like I said, one station, somebody working. The next one, ain't nobody working. The next one, you know. So, their volume started to decline. I honestly say they don't give a fuck about their employees. No. Especially they hard working ones. We end up getting laid off when we weren't even supposed to be getting laid off because of the, the hours that we had. We're not yeah. even going to get into that. Um, I think like a week later, we end up getting a fire job. Mm -hmm. Things was going good for about three weeks, I think. Yeah, and All of a sudden, started boom. Getting cases. Started getting cases. And when I say cases, I mean... Cases. And they wasn't telling nobody. Wasn't about telling it. We anyone. All, we found it out by other co-workers that it's yeah. cases. Girl, you know. do you know that Whoop the Woo that was on Whoop the Woo line got Corona, but yeah. they telling them not to tell nobody. Like, we like, are you serious? So at the end of April, you know, she usually gets sick around April. Yeah. So that's what we thinking it was just her her, her normal yearly sickness coming because you know times change but i start getting like migraines and i don't get migraines i get headaches every now and then but like migraines my head was like ringing and, like the like. light me i couldn't even focus on somebody talking to me or anything like all i could do was hold my head down when i make it home i'm laying my head down because my head hurts going so to bad. sleep yeah on me she was she was it was getting terrible and yeah. like you know we were started to think like I mean, she usually always gets sick around this time, but it's never this severe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think we miss, we miss, we went to work Wednesday, miss work Thursday, we went Friday. Mm -hmm. we By Friday, work? I started getting sick. Yeah. I started feeling a certain type of way. We ended up having, having to leave Friday because hers was just getting worse. Like, I was feeling weak. I'm talking about, y'all, oh, it yeah. was so scary. So, I line leader ended up having to turn this in because the symptoms was the corona, you know, symptoms. We actually got self-diagnosed by, like, a nurse mm -hmm. who actually could tell if it was corona or the flu or something else. Yeah. And she ended up diagnosing us with the coronavirus. Well, COVID-19, same difference. Yeah. And I would say that Saturday and Sunday, we slowly start losing our taste, slowly start losing our smell. And as we started, you know, trying to educate ourselves on COVID, we started to realize, you know, those are symptoms that we have. These are the symptoms of COVID. And they were getting so severe. Like the only thing we could smell was chemicals and stuff. So, some of the side effects of COVID is, you know, um, migraines, shortness of breath, loss of smell and taste, um, of course, the fever, 
a dry cough, all of that. And we had all of that. I would say by Monday, it had got so bad that I literally thought she was going to die. Yeah, it was like I had like a, like asthma, like a breathing problem or something. Like I can barely breathe. I can be laying down on my pillow and all of a sudden I'm trying to catch my breath. Like it was terrible. Y'all, she was just <gasps> like, and I'm t I'm looking at her and like she trying her hardest to catch her breath. She couldn't breathe and it, it was scaring us so bad because we like, are we going to have to go to the hospital? Yeah. Am I for to lose her? I remember, I get emotional when I talk about this too, because I really thought she was for to die, bro. Like, I remember night, like, I, I, I wouldn't sleep. I would probably doze off for 20 minutes and I would wake back up on 20 minutes, after 20 minutes, making sure she okay, making sure she can breathe. One time I, I rolled over to look at her, her body was just still wasn't moving nothing so i'm like okay maybe she finally done caught her breath and she's at peace now she can get her some rest but usually when this how i know she sleep when she sleep she go hmm she do that sound every time she go hmm and then after that she's out of there she never made that noise so i'm like okay is she okay when i touch her to roll her over she, like, I'm talking about grasping for an air, trying to get it. And I'm, I'm having to hold her up like, baby, are you okay? Come on, breathe. Take deep breaths with me. She's trying to take deep breaths, but as she's trying to take the deep breaths, she can't breathe. So she's trying to catch her breath. She, like, it was, y'all, it was so hectic. And then she ended up catching her breath and she went to sleep. I woke back up again and when I touched her, she was not breathing. She was not breathing. And as soon as I bay, bay, she <gasps> and went back to sleep. I'm not capping. I'm not telling no stories for clout, for views. None of that. Like this it's really love. happened. Life dips. Like she, I almost, I almost lost her during the middle of the night. If I wouldn't have woke up and shook her to breathe, she would have never breathed start breathing and I would have woke up wondering why she cold why she pale and she would have been gone you know what I'm saying like it was terrible but what we did was what we do we got some we made a hot toddy we'll yeah. say that we made a hot toddy and we got some green tea um we kept the house at like 76 77 degrees mm -hmm. so we can sweat yeah. and what else did we do? I was really eating like warm food. Yeah, a lot of yeah, warm I mean, food. I wasn't drinking no cold water, nothing like that. Nothing, drinking um, room temperature water. I was, I was my face, like spray my face. And, and get the blow dryer and like, and it, it, it helped us shake back within like, a week. Like super quick, like. I'm talking about, just like that, we shook back and we was able to go to, go to work and get back on it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But like, I still, um, I still have problem tasting stuff. I can really just smell chemicals still. Um, this is in April, y'all. This was four months ago. Exactly. Um, like it, it done got worse. Like when it comes to the food, like I can't even eat certain meats because I'm tasting the chemicals in it. Like fast food, I don't, I don't do fast food like that anymore because you can taste the chemicals in the meat. Whatever you eat, you can. You can taste the process. Like, it's, it's nasty. You, and, you, like, mm. it will make you where you literally want to go vegan. Oh, because man. you can taste all the wrong shit in, in it. it. Like, that's, it, that's how it's bad terrible. <laughs> this done affected. If you ever feel like you contracted it, don't panic. Go get you a bunch of lemon. Go get you some lime. Go some get you ginger. some ginger, some honey. Um, get you some, some tea. If you don't like green tea, get you some regular tea. But make sure you drink it warm or hot. Do not drink cold, nothing don't know nothing slushy, nothing that's been in the refrigerator. Make sure everything is room temperature because with COVID, the mucus is really what's get to people. Mm -hmm. All the mucus is building up and all that warm stuff and all those century stuff breaks it all down. Yeah. And it's gone. The the virus really sits up here. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's where the migraines and stuff come from. It sits right there in your like kind of I guess you call this nostril. Don't take this as a joke. Cause it's not a joke. It's not. 
It's not. Please don't be like me. Cause I, I was laughing, he he and I ain't gonna get that shit uh shit. I got it. I'm like I'm so thankful we was able to beat that. Cause I was beyond scared. I was scared. Like for real. Alright you guys, so if you enjoyed this video, this story time basically of us life with COVID, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, push the subscribe button and push that bell right next to it. It will notify you every single time we drop a video. You will never miss it. You feel me? You will look at your phone and add a notification. Right there. You feel me? They can say like Zone Day. Just post it 12 minutes. Ago. Boom. There you go. Yeah, feel me. On it. If you haven't also already, go ahead and follow us on all social medias. It'll be Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Them the only three we have. Now you can Facebook at the moment. Go ahead and run them up. Uh, right now I'm not on my Snapchat because I'm doing like this detox thing and I'm trying to get snatched. So if you wonder where I've been, I've been right here on YouTube because this is where y'all gonna see me. So Probably until I reach my first weight goal, probably. That's when y'all gonna start seeing me. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna document all that. Like, y'all gonna see what we eat in the day. Yeah, I really like, wanna. Exercises and all that. Mm, excuse me. I wanna post, like, once we document everything and we didn't reach our goal, post, like, maybe. Monday we'll post a video and Friday we'll post a video of the documentary. Give y'all like two videos a week of the documentary so y'all can see like our progress and what we went through and everything. You know, we should really take them to the gym with us. We should. We could do that. We, we gonna do that. We gonna do that for y'all. Yep. All right. If y'all would like to see any, any type of videos, comment down below from challenges, pranks, story time, QA, Cooking videos, vlogs, anything, my nigga. Like, especially pranks. Yeah, I'm gonna get your ass. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna Don't play. worry about that. <laughs> you feel me? Like, just run it up for us. But, like I was saying, you follow us on the media, we're going to follow y'all back. Period. 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 We're going to interact with y'all. You know what I'm saying? All right. Like that? Mm -hmm. You're so cute, you know that? I uh, saw so our last video, the, 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 the <laughs> what is it, Spicy Chip Challenge? Uh huh, the One Chip Challenge. The One Chip Challenge, please run that up to 100 views. So we can do another giveaway for y'all, because I know y'all been waiting for a giveaway. Uh, just get them views up. That's it. We Once they hit 100, 100 views, we got an amazing giveaway coming for y'all. You know, We got hella videos, and he coming for y'all soon. Hope y'all enjoyed this video, and we out this. We take that right, baby. Peace.